Right, defender rear step. We're going up in the world, aren't we, Zach? Yes, right, so Zach has worked on this. This is one of the young Zach's projects. So, you need to have toe hooks fitted to fit this step. Now, this is our prototype one, and I've left it on to show you it's gone rusty. So, on the production ones, we've zinc plated it to stop this. So, I'll go and explain a bit more about that in a minute. But basically, the idea of this is to give you an extra step up so you can get up onto your roof and do stuff. So, it's not a full ladder. It doesn't give you full access but it does give you that extra. And if you've got the loops, you've already got another loop fitted. So if you need to tow someone out, obviously towing on two loops will spread the load and it's ideal, but I think each hoop is rated to 10 tons. It's ridiculous. So, um, right, question. You could fit it on this side, but we felt this was inconvenient because all, land, all defenders, whether they're left-hand drive or right-hand drive, hinge on that side and you would be knocking into it. Where on this side, it's, you're never gonna, it's never gonna get in your way. And you can still use it from the inside if you want. You can also use it like that. There you go. Right, so how have we designed this? What do you get in the kit? Right, so you get a piece of, what thickness was it in the end, Zach? Eight. Eight millimeters thick. We did go thinner, but it just felt like it was gonna bend. So we thought we're just gonna do it, do it big. So this is laser cut, uh, mild steel, then it's zinc plated and then it's black powder coated, so this will not rust. We have a bit of skateboard deck tape. Now, we did look at doing it in checker plate, but when you get eight mil checker plate, it's quite industrial looking. The scale of the checker plate was quite big, and it didn't look nice at the edge where you half cut through the checker plate. So we have gone for this, and, and it is actually grippier. This stuff is less slippy than the checker plate. Right. We're going to use this. This is a, a stud that's going to go in here. We'll show you that in a minute. And then this is a centralizing plate and a clamp plate that we need to stick that onto there. Now, we've designed the fitting nut for this. To, and it's actually a spare wheel nut. Now, this is only really useful if you've got steel wheels. So we could use this as a spare wheel nut on our steel wheels. But more importantly, we've designed it to use the 22 mil socket so that you don't need any extra tools you can just use your spare wheel socket wrench in your toolkit in your defender to fit this if you want we're going to do it with this right zach so what are we going to do first we are going to stick this bit onto here and this bit so we could have assembled this for you but we thought you defender boys and girls out there you like a bit of a bit of airfix kit right so you will note this can only go on one side of this you can't and you need to do this first. So I'm gonna just degrease that with an alcohol wipe and I'm gonna degrease the top of that and I'm gonna degrease the top of that. Right then, right. And then while, while that's evaporating, gosh, I can see it evaporating, we're gonna peel the back in. How easy is this to do, Zach? You've done this. Oh. Here we go, I got it, I got it. Right. This stuff is sticky as as well. This this I did I made Georgia skateboard one year and put this stuff on it. It was right. So you have only got so your your trick is gonna be to go round that hole and try and get it. Is it looking alright? Oh I bossed it, Zach. Smashed it. Smashed it. Right. And then I'm gonna stick this one on. So this is a bit of double sided tape. What do you reckon to go on first? Oh, I can go on here first. Ah, no. He's, oh, oh, I see what Zach's done. He's, he's done it so we won't see it, haven't you, Zach? Yeah. Stick that on. Pull that off. Stick that on. And you'll see why we need this. This is just to really just to centralise it while we fit it. Right. 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 So we're nearly ready to go. Right. One thing we've got to do is these splines stop this rotating. Now, we haven't tried this yet since it's powder coated, have we, Zach? But what you're gonna have to do is go over to a vice, right, push that through, get something there. I've got the soft jaws, so I'm not gonna damage it. And then we've just got to give this a tap. Going.
Yep, we're in. Right. That's a bit fierce. We might have to just take a little bit off that next time. But that is going nowhere. <laughs> that is going nowhere. Right. So, we're now ready to assemble this. Let me just whip this one off. So, if you need one of these quickly. Hold on. Go the right way. Uh. <laughs> Everyone's worked out how it fits by now. Now, this does fit with our surrounds, but it's a little tighter, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And then pull the, the washer off. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's it. You have to do it. You can't lever it up that way, because the so you have to pull it out and lever it that way. Right, so the new one. Again, it's the same logic. Put that in. Push that in. You've got a little bit of wiggle room, but the clever bit is here. Now, this was the really clever bit, actually, wasn't it, Zach? This, the angle of this is not parallel. The top and the bottom plates don't sit parallel. It's sloped like this, if I exaggerate it. But the tapered end on the wheel nut goes in, and it allows this plate to self-level itself to wherever it wants, which was one of the really cool things. So we need to make sure we get that that inner washer in so it's sitting flat right another thing when we we tested this and one thing we had a bit of a bigger step but it got close to the parking sensor so we've tweaked the design and we tested it on our car and it gives no issue with the parking sensors at all the the beam must come out quite um what's the word narrow beam so again try it we haven't tested it on a vast number of cars but i don't foresee a problem with that there you go give it a tight and make sure it pulls down i mean you could try just pulling it down with the nut you could if you're struggling with the vice you could or you could do a combination of pulling it here and giving it a tap if you haven't got access to a vice but make sure that's pulled down. Check it again after a week or so, just to check it's there. But there you go, bam. We have got the step done. Good luck with that.